Energy drinks, the lifeblood of cramming students, overworked gamers, and that one guy who thinks running marathons is a personality. But how are they made? Let me take you on a journey into the totally real world of energy drink production. It all begins with gumballs. Yep, the chewiest, most obnoxiously sticky gumballs you've ever stepped on are gathered by the truckload and dumped into the melting chamber. Here, under the heat of seven suns, okay, maybe just industrial lasers, the gumballs melt into a gooey, colorful sludge. It's like a candy nightmare you can't escape. Next, the goo is squeezed through what can only be described as gumball torture devices. It's pressed, squished, and juiced until it's so concentrated that even your dentist feels a chill down their spine. And then comes the bottling. Obviously, this is where it gets even weirder. They add the essentials, a pinch of crushed lightning bolts for the zing, a splash of mystery extract from a fruit no one's ever heard of, and, of course, an unholy amount of caffeine powder, because why not? Once the concoction is bottled, sealed, and somehow radioactive looking, it's sent to stores near you. All so you can pretend you're ready to tackle life while vibrating like a hummingbird. And that's how a handful of gumballs and questionable ingredients become the rocket fuel that powers your regrettable late-night gaming sessions. If this blew your mind or made you seriously reconsider your life choices, hit that subscribe button and join us here at M Asking I. More weird truths and laughs are just a click away. Stay energized, my friends.